In the previous video, we were playing with one of these, a magnetic indicator from the cockpit of an RAF aircraft. Well, I got a bit excited and went crazy on eBay. And now we have four of them, including a couple that were brand new in the box from 1962. It does say not to be opened until required for use. Well, I took one out of its original packaging, taking a big huff of that sweet 1960s air and took it apart to see how it works. It uses a rack and pinion mechanism to spin these little display faces. The rack is the long linear gear and as that moves across, it spins the circular pinion gears. There's a detailed video of the whole mechanism on Patreon. But what I really wanted to know is, is it possible to put my own images on those display faces? And the answer was yes. Here's my first experiment with the hack logo. But now I wondered, with just three frames, could I make a convincing motion picture and make a mechanical GIF? So which image to use? Well, these stills are taken from a series of collar type photographs by Edward Mybridge in 1878. And there's a fun story behind them. They were commissioned to settle a bet that all of a horse's hooves leave the ground when it's running. He set up a series of cameras whose shutters were set off as the horse ran through a series of trip wires, which was just a little bit dangerous. He had to invent new high-speed photo emulsions, shutter mechanisms, and a viewer called a zoopraxiscope to do it. But in the process, made motion pictures possible. And as you can see, they do all leave the ground. Okay, so now we need a circuit to switch our still images fast enough so that our persistence of vision creates the illusion of movement. How do we, oh, sorry, how do we do that? Since our indicator uses electromagnetic coils, I figure our switching circuitry should too. So we're gonna use relays. The same relays used in my 1606 electromagnetic switch module. Relays have a coil of wire and if you pass a current through that, that creates a magnetic field and it attracts this little metal armature and that through a lever moves the switch contacts. So I've linked three of them together and they turn each other on and off in a loop. And if you listen to them, they make a clip clop sound, just like horses hooves. So our relay circuitry not only animates the images, it also provides the soundtrack. There'll be a full breakdown video of that relay switching circuit, which is pretty cool if I say so myself. That went up on Patreon last week and subscribe here if you wanna catch that. So I think it would be pretty cool if we could change the speed. And what speeds does a horse go? Well, they can walk, they can trot, they can canter, and they can gallop. So let's add a switch that switches in different size capacitors connected to the coils of our relays. The bigger the capacitors, the slower the switching. And it makes you appreciate that slowing down time is something that we take for granted now, but was something that was impossible to do before the motion picture. So we've got the circuitry figured out, let's build it into a box. like a little miniature TV, except there's only one channel and it only shows reruns of Black Beauty. Now, if you wanna get your clicky relay fix, but you don't necessarily have a need for an equestrian animator, then uh, you can check out the links below where you can get one of my 1606 electromagnetic switch modules or one of the telegraph lamp board modules, both of which have clicky relays. And if you do want to build one of these, then all of the plans, the schematics, and the videos of me building it are on Patreon. And that's a great way to support the channel so I can spend more time making things like this. So without further ado, here it is, the mechanical gif. Mechanical gif. 